peeps and welcome back to Nico will play so welcome to you too if you're new uh, last time we um, uh, hold on here uh, last time we did some stuff with RF tools and today we're gonna continue with that because I had some stuff mixed up in my head basically these two items so this is the item I was thinking about but I made this one but this one is also quite handy so we're gonna do both uh, so I went ahead and I made, well, I made this one because I made the wrong thing and then I went ahead and made another storage control module. So now what we're gonna do is fall down and we are going to sneak right click with both of these on the storage scanner, which I also built and I hooked up back here. I did a little thing there and I hooked it up and I did more, but I'm gonna show you. Uh, I also made another one of these uh, Tire 3 storage modules because if we take a look in here uh, you can see I have all the uh, the things that was in the drawers which I've now removed I ha and uh, yeah I put them all in here so if I click on the C thing we cycle to the other one because now there's two in here and the other one has all the ores so that's pretty nifty uh, we can also see that in here. You can also store recipes if you so wanted, and then we could craft in, you know, numbers, or we could just click it out. Uh, so yeah, these are the two basic things we have in here. Uh, yeah, so this will now show that. Uh, to see the other stuff in there, we will now have to go in here and click cycle, like so. But um yeah if we now went ahead and we placed this thing like there then i right click it and i put one of these in there now you right click it you can see it has the different things the only thing that is a little bit annoying is that i did not mean to take it out yeah is that it doesn't seem like we can scroll through um through these which is a little bit annoying so i might actually go ahead and add more um modeler storage blocks but we can also do this with this one so that we can have a handheld device so if we do like this then ta-da we can now do it from wherever. Basically, I think it has like a radius of 64 or something. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to place that somewhere more needed. Like, for example, the Zeppelin for when we're going to start working there. But yeah, it is a little bit... Why? Can you not see the other card now? Aww. That's weird. Do I need to put you in here? Just refresh you or something? That's weird. Alright, so that was apparently a bug with RF tools. Um, I, I don't see why that would be uh, something that they would want to happen. Uh, but what I've now done is, uh, Torgo came, he came and, ooh, I fell down again. He came and cheated in all the stuff, uh, for us that we'd lost, um, and even more so. I got a few extra bits and pieces out of it, but I'm not exactly sure how much and such, so it's just gonna be so. This is a chest he left everything in, so I'm just gonna have it here as a tribute to Torgal for his awesome helpfulness and yeah, it's gonna be staying there and I can open it the way it is and it's empty and yeah, it's gonna stay that way because it's not really ours. He said we could do whatever we want with it, but I feel like he did something really awesome. I'm gonna have it as a chest tribute. I don't quite remember exactly what I was saying. But uh, yeah, we have the things back now. You can see here we have all sorts of stuff back in here. 
And yeah, I think we're fine. And let me talk about what I've done between episodes again. Um, I made this because uh, this storage module tablet we need to store, like not store, um, charge up with RF. So we can do that in there. That is a pretty uh, easy to make power cell also from RF tools. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. This thing is now um, hooked up again with the card. Uh, what I did is I removed the this uh, remote storage from the scanner so we can still use it but we won't be able to see it does that make sense i think that makes sense but this is still like um a little bit sad because we can only uh change change between the cards by using this thing so if we want other stuff then that then we will have to go over here but still it's better than nothing and i might add one for each card that i make so that we can have access to them but i'm not going to be doing that right now uh right now for the rest of the episode uh which i'm not quite sure how long this is gonna be lasting yeah we have we have a bit of time so I've been also working on this stuff, I've been making stuff, but this is now full of Fiasat oils. We need a way of emptying this other than buckets, because that's really boring. We have 16 blocks of steel, which is really nice, and I'm going to go and um, grab some coal coke. I traded this with uh, the Railcraft Villager that we have on the server. I'm going to put that back in there. And yeah, so let's see. We are going to go into immersive. And then there is a block. It's a fluid pump. We are going to need to make all of these things. So we need our hammer. Our hammer I left in here. Then we are going to need some iron. Let's see. Huh. Okay. I was hoping we could show these as like one big number. I guess not. All right. Now let's see how many blocks of stuff do we need, or how many iron plates do we need? We need three for that. That doesn't need one, and six for that. Okay, so we need nine. Like so, and then we can use the hammer to make the plates. Like so. And then it was like this. And because we need copper. Do we have copper? That might be the thing he was saying that he didn't know what was. Uh, so we need to make copper. Do we have... Oh wait, the ore is in uh, this one. I'm just gonna search just in case. Copper, nope. Okay. Let's see, cycle. Do we have any copper ore? I think I might have grinded it all down. No, we have 11, 9. Okay, we have a little bit of copper. Let's see. Copper. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right. So let's go ahead and use this. It's gonna take a while. We can work on other stuff in the meantime. Uh, wait, that, that's all we need, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, there's also, there should be a tank. No? Is there no tank? 
Oh, I thought there was a tank. Should be a tank. It should be a wooden and a steel one, I think. Uh, let's see. That's not quite the tank I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure. Immersive. <sighs> really? Mm. Maybe it's not in this version? That would be weird. I think. Let's see, let's do this. Mm. Oh, barrel, of course. Yeah, I don't know how big or small it is. Oh, it's only iron. That's nice. So we need more iron plates. We can do that, we can do that, we can do that. So let's see, it was four pers. Let's make eight. Then was it like this? Yes, 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 yes. And ta da! One piece of metal barrel. I have no idea how big this thing is, but we shall find out. I'm not exactly sure where we need to put that on, but uh, we'll see. It doesn't really say. Okay. Alright. Uh, why is this not? Does this not want to work with you? Here we go. Okay. Where is the ingot cost there? There we go. All right, it's making the ingots now. Cool. Now we can go back to the pump. Make yourself one of these mechanical component things and then this now I have never used this before so I'm not gonna pretend I know what I'm doing because I don't <laughs> I don't know uh, does this need to be on top that's the question it does not have an inventory of its own because I couldn't just place it there it does look like it needs to be on top. Ah, oh, that's that sucks a little bit. Oh, lucky! You're right underneath the thing. So do I need to. Is that the outboard? So if I do a fluid pipe like that, I don't know, does it need redstone? I have no idea. Okay, the fluid pump uh, needs RF. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. We can do RF. Or IF, as it says. Let's see. Let's do. Let's go and grab one of the connectors. Bra and some coils. LV wire connector. There we go. Now, luckily for us, we have power. I think I need another connector. 
Let's see, can I make the out port underneath as well? There we go. Let's see, connector. What do we need for a connector? Connector, connector, connector. There we go. Copper and... Okay. Got it. I seem a little bit off my game in this episode. It's because... Yeah, I kind of lost it a little bit earlier. When I lost all the things on the... Yeah. Just didn't go as I wanted to. This is gonna be too far. Connection is obstructed. Yeah. Let's grab some of this and let's place it right there and see if that works. Right, and then up here. Still obstructed. Okay. Gonna need to remove some of the roof here then. Unfortunately. Luckily this is the basement, so I'm not too too hung up on the fact that it needs to be pretty and whatever. So let's see, is it now getting anything? No, it's not doing anything. Uh where's the hammer? Not doing anything. Are you doing anything? Yeah, this is getting far. That is not getting far. Uh, okay. Alright, so I got it working now. Uh, and I can also close this up. Uh, I took this down and of course lost all the creels that thought was in there, but before I completely put it together, the block behind there, I uh, removed it and I, you know, right clicked it with the, the, the pump with the hammer until it had the blue one, which is intake, and then I did the same here until it was orange up there, so I can pump it into there. Because this thing needs power on the top, which is really, really stupid i think and it also needs a redstone signal so it's now pumping all the things out of there into here so we have one bucket worth now which is not bad but it's not good either and yeah we have we have more of this stuff which we are uh, going to be using in the future to make some concrete but until then let's have a look here at what we're going to be doing next uh, the next thing I thought about doing this episode um, was to put on some lights, maybe. Uh, but it requires a little bit of a gloss paint and such, which I don't really have done here, so we're gonna have to go and grab it. Um, I'm not sure I even have some. We might have some down at the Botania area. We do! How lucky for us. Uh, and what else do we need? We need redstone and a block of glowstone and more iron. I think we have a block of glowstone up here. Back and forth, back and forth. And we also have iron up here, so that's great. I always like look for the the drawers when I come down here. Oh, I was like, what? Nothing really. Let's see here. Uh Ooh, we have some iron on us. We're gonna need more though, so we'll do this. And glowstone. There we go. That is it, I think. No, that's just lantern. Where's the powered one? There we go. Yeah, that and redstone. So I'm just gonna do that. 
right like so we're gonna need an even number or uneven actually but okay let's uh, go with that where is my exalted crafter i love this thing this thing is the best oh we get three per craft as well that's pretty nice okay the stack okay i thought they may be uh, had a maximum thing there. Okay, we're missing stuff. Well, we got 18 lights, so that's pretty decent. Now we're going to need some stuff we put away. Hold on. This thing. And maybe some of these. I would like to use some of these as well. And this. So, I don't think I'm gonna bother putting it down there. Gonna need some connectors. Connectors. There we go. I'm gonna bring this one to in case. But I don't think I'm gonna pretty up the downstairs here with too much of this stuff. Uh, let's go with a post, like right up here. We can use our hammer. We need a new hammer soon too. Because this hammer doesn't actually go in the thing. Wait, actually, I'm not sure I want that. Let's see here. Uh, let's grab the powered lantern and just place it on top. Because these actually carries the power, which is pretty nice. And I feel like I want one down here too, so we can get rid of that torch. Oh. Here we go. Uh, this is going to be trickier. The train station thingy. Yeah, wow. Do you too? <laughs> right. How about right here? And the room. It's been quite a quiet episode, I'm sure about that. Uh, can I? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's how it goes, I guess. This is not touching. I guess I can chisel them bits a little bit out here to make it seem like it's actually holding the lamp. That would be kind of good. Uh, is this a hole blocked in the ceiling? Oh, it's also... Ah, uh, no, it's not paired. Okay, it's not a hole block, but I can make like a candlestick holder thingy, I guess, up in the ceiling there with some treated wood, chiseled treated wood, so that we can have light in here. That would be nice. Where else do we want to put these lights? I feel like we should try and put it up both here and there because, yeah, they look pretty and all. Can I? Nope, cannot. Oh. <laughs> no. Alright, then I cannot fix this because this goes on the center of a block. What a shame. If you are going to go upside down, then. Like that. Yes. That isn't too bad. I can walk underneath without banging my head on it. Makes me happy. Let's also go around here a little. I don't know how far one of these lights up though. Might have a great radius or it might just be torchy. I mean, one should think it would be better than a torch, considering it requires RF to run. But we, we shall see. Yep, yep. We shall see. Now, can I maybe trick this around somehow? I hear a zombie. I'm not sure where that zombie is. You might be down in there. 
think that's where he is. I've seen a couple of them down in there before. I thought I had cleaned it all up, but I guess not. Right. Like so. And come on. There. And I'm quite curious to see how this sits on a balloon. The balloon is kind of like a... Uh, what is it called? An angel block? Because it can take... You can just hold it in your hand and click. Oh, that's a little bit too low. And you don't really need a tool to break it either. So like... There maybe? Yeah. Let's see how the... Labs connect to this one. Not too bad. I kind of wish that the balloons were a little bit bigger. We're probably going to need more wire though for this. And I don't know, but I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to put one up here as well. there. If I go off here, I can connect that to that. No, it's obstructed. Eesh. That's the sound. Maybe if I start the entry thing on this with a right click and a connector thing. Really. I don't know if it can because it's gonna be on the other side of that wooden thingy, but the wooden arm. But we can try. No, it will not work. Not there, anyways. Pickaxe. So let's see if it's not gonna work there. Perhaps it will work here. Let's see. Connection is obstructed. Can I just pretend that it's connected there? Can we do that? Can we pretend and not be mad about it? Yeah, because that works. Oh god, so annoying. I wish I could like click this thing and have it turn opposite way. Like, you can place these upside down, that would be good. Now that is working. Yay, we got light. Now let's see if we can hook up the rest of the stuff. Hook you up to you. Am I being in the way? Are you obstructed too, for real? Are you kidding me? The only thing I can see obstructing that might be this, I think, which is silly. What? What in the world could be obstructing? Let me light up the rest of the base and then I'll come back and show you how it looks and say bye. Okay then, I'm not super happy with how it's looking, but and yeah, it's still kind of cool and since I'm still going to go for a little bit of a steampunky feel here, it kind of fits in with that. Um, I did a, I don't know if I showed this, but I did a balloon there, to connect it like this, and I think that works out. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed on the range of these since like I said, they're powered, so one should think the range would be a little bit good, but if I take this away and I turn this thing on, you can see it's not that good. Uh, it's probably because it's so high up, because, let's see, if I take, if I take one of these and 
Let's see. Can I? Yeah, I can just knock down some of the torches. If I put this there, can I connect this to that, or is that too steep? Yeah, it's too steep. Uh, that is basically the issue. The post itself is uh, is in the way. Let's see. Can I put it one up then? No. Yeah, that that's basically the issue I've been having. It's too too steep, which means that the cable will be hanging within the post. Uh, it it won't actually because this is just as big or even that part is thicker than the post. But for some reason, it thinks that the post is uh, like has arms or whatever and gets in the way. But yeah, so I think that if we those are like three high. Uh, that was stupid of me. Let's just do this. And then if we put a torch on here, you can see it has basically the same length as these. It took away this block, I believe. Let's see here. Yeah, it took away that block. So it's basically the same as the torch. But because it's so high up, it doesn't really light up that well. So if we had it closer to the ground, that would light up better, but then that would kind of look a little bit stupid because the post would be higher than this maybe and still that would be low and sometimes you would get like stuck underneath and that wouldn't be too good. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, next episode we're gonna continue working on some light and such. I'm gonna put on more posts and such around that island and some more of the... Uh, what are they called? Uh, wall mounts here and there and I try and pretty stuff up a little bit uh, but next time we will be working on some other light solutions as well which isn't as eye catching as a ugly torch so there's that uh, but yeah uh, gotta turn that on off to see something when you have that thing on uh, let's see can we get a view of this there we go so yeah, I hope to see you next time and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Remember to click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!